Well, it's Monday, October 19th, 19th day of our prayer and fasting for 40 days. Hey, thanks for being steadfast in this and uh, just uh, being diligent to commit uh, our hearts to the Lord and to commit our church to prayer and uh, commit our nation to prayer. Psalm, Psalm 37 today, almost said Psalm 40, but it's 37, Psalm 37. Fret not yourself because of evildoers, be not envious of wrongdoers, for they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him and he will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. For the evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. In just a little while, the wicked will be no more. Though you look carefully at his place, he will not be there but the meek shall inherit the land and delight themselves in abundant peace. The wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him, but the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend their bows to bring down the poor and needy to slay those who, whose way is upright. Their sword shall enter their own heart and their bows shall be broken. Better is the little that the righteous has than the abundance of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the blameless and their heritage will remain forever. They are not put to shame in evil times. In the days of famine, they have abundance, but the wicked will perish. The enemies of the Lord are like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like smoke, they vanish away. The wicked borrows but does not pay back. But the righteous is generous and gives. For those blessed by the Lord shall inherit the land, but those cursed by him shall be cut off. The steps of a man are established by the Lord when he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be cast headlong, for the Lord upholds his hand. I have been young and now am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. He is ever lending generously and his children become a blessing. Turn away from evil and do good. So shall you dwell forever. For the Lord loves justice. He will not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell upon it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom and his tongue speaks justice. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps do not slip. The wicked watches for the righteous and seeks to put him to death. The Lord will not abandon him to his power or let him be condemned when he is brought to trial. Wait for the Lord and keep his way and he will exalt you to inherit the land. You will look you will look on when the wicked are cut off. I have seen a wicked, ruthless man spreading himself like a green laurel tree, but he passed away, and behold, he was no more. Though I sought him, he could not be found. Mark the blameless and behold the upright, for there is a future for the man of peace, but transgressors shall be altogether destroyed. The future of the wicked shall be cut off the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their stronghold in the time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Let's pray together. Father, this, this psalm of David assures us that though we see the wicked prospering, 
that, Father, there is justice coming, that those who persist in their sinful rebellion against you will ultimately be cut off, and they will be no more. And Father, as we look upon the prosperity of the wicked, we also see in our world many of our brothers and sisters who suffer. Many of them this very day will suffer under persecution and trial and imprisonment and even be put to death because of their faith. Father, we're so far removed from that kind of thing here in our country that we forget that that's going on. But it is this day, Father, going on, and you see, you see the righteous who are suffering, who are imprisoned, who are being persecuted, who are being slandered and beaten and even put to death. And God, you, your word promises even here in this psalm that if the righteous will delight themselves in the Lord, that they will triumph. And we thank you for Jesus, through whom we have received the victory and have been made more than conquerors, through him who loved us, and gave his all for us, took our penalty upon himself and was crucified, dead and buried and risen triumphantly the third day. In Christ Jesus, today, Father, we have the victory and so we pray for other believers who are suffering under severe persecution and trial on this very day, that God, you would sustain them, that Lord, you would help them to hold fast to the confession of their faith. Father, we pray for those of us who are believers who live in more prosperous cultures. Lord, we are starting to see and sense the tide of the culture turning against Christ. And we certainly see that here in the United States more and more each day. And so, Father, we, we can sense that there is at least a greater degree of persecution on the horizon for believers even here in the United States. And so we pray for ourselves today. We pray for the church in America that that God, you would help us to prepare. That Lord, you would help us to solidify the profession of our faith. That God, we would not just base our salvation upon some past prayer that we prayed and, and in doing so, kind of live flippantly, calling ourselves Christians but never really living out Christ. I pray, Lord, that, that God, we believers in the United States and in more prosperous countries, more culturally friendly countries towards Christianity, God, that we would, we would get ready because the storm clouds are rolling in, Father. And there is a very real possibility of increased persecution against us. And so, Lord, we want to stand firm. We want to stand with conviction and be people of courage. And so, Father, we pray for your grace. I pray for your grace today on me. I pray for your grace for our church, that, God, you will help us to stand in the day of trouble. Lord, I thank you that you have called us to be still before you, to wait upon you, to wait patiently for you, even in this psalm. It says, fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. You tell us here, refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. So I pray, God, that in the midst of whatever trials this day holds for us, that, God, you would help us to lay down our worry and our anxiety before you, to trust in you, to wait patiently for your deliverance, because you are a faithful deliverer. And so, God, help us today to be steadfast and immovable, knowing that our labor, our waiting, because waiting is labor, I pray that you will help us to know that our waiting is not in vain because we trust in the God who delivers. And so, Father, we give you this day, we give you our hearts, 
We ask, Father, that you would conform us to Jesus. We ask for revival for our churches, for spiritual awakening for our land and for the nations of the world. I pray that the gospel would flourish in the hearts of those who already believe today and that, Father, your gospel would make inroads into the hearts who do not yet believe. I pray that you would break up the soil, break up the, the ground of our hearts, and sow the seed of the word of God this morning so that it might grow into the fruitfulness of salvation and glory for Jesus. We ask in his precious name, amen. Hey, God bless you folks. Hope you have a wonderful Monday. We'll see you soon.